Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty, you know, I'm not stuck. I'm still okay. Um, now, Reverend Poole, in a conversation I had with him, uh, he recently mentioned that, uh, that there was a cemetery sign that he had put up about five years ago. Well, I found this cemetery sign uh, in the ditch, you know, across the road. It's pretty well, pretty rot rotted out. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and try and put it back up. I'm going to take a picture of it. That way we'll know that we put it up. You know, again, this is uh, the road to the camp. Uh, I was hoping I'd be able to put a landmark for uh, putting down our custom-made sign, uh, which is the, the surprise that we wanted to let you all know. We've got two signs. One that says Ross Cemetery. One that says Ross Cemetery 150 yards. And we we're going to try and put up. Unfortunately, I don't have any trees that I can put this up on, so I'm just going to have to improvise and try and devise another means. So, it's starting to rain again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, take a break. Okay, I decided to uh, go ahead and venture back into where the cemetery uh, is. We took a right on that road, and the road kind of uh, winds around a little bit. Uh, it's passable and then there's a clearing right about here where there's a where there's a feeder you can see the feeder right there all right feeders right up there in the tree now whether or not that feeder is going to be there permanently I don't know but uh, this this is the uh, this is the spot where we found yesterday in which Reverend Poole talked about which from here you go back uh, directly 150 yards and uh, that's where the Riles Family Cemetery is. Of course, there's really not a whole lot that I can do at this point uh, until the rain lets up. And uh, I'm feeling kind of scared about getting stuck back here. It's, uh, it's just kind of tricky. I want to make sure that I don't get stuck. So, I'm going to go ahead and take another break. Um, from this point, we are exactly 4.2 miles, 4.2 miles from uh, where we initially got off the road at, uh, at Macon Darien Road. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera and put it on hold and then uh, I'll get right back. Okay, it's the afternoon. I've been here for... Uh for a few hours trying to dig a trail straight back from uh, from the deer stand but uh, that turned out to be kind of fruit unfruitful because uh, a little bit too far off uh, to the uh, to the right as it uh, um, as it turns out so uh, what I did was I tried to find the, the quickest most uh, most efficient means possible to uh, to find the Riles Cemetery and I and I have succeeded in doing that. So what I'm going to do is uh, basically I'm going to take the trail back from where we started from the road uh, where uh, we got the new sign and there's the new sign there it reads Riles Cemetery 150 yards that's simply a roadside to uh, to let you know that um, uh, simply to let you know that uh, that this is the, the place but do not go straight back uh, from uh, from that deer stand it's a, it's kind of a tough going route uh, and there is a much easier route to take and uh, I have uh, marked along the way too so out there are the poles that uh, that we painted last night I'm hoping that these will will stay there uh, if not then uh, c'est la vie uh, this will give you a kind of a a uh, pretty accurate distance from the road. There's there's my car and there's the woods. There's the trail that we're going to take using the stakes as markers and uh, there's the uh, the uh, deer stand or whatnot. So anyway, we're, uh, we're going to start off here and basically we just keep going back this way and the first thing that we're going to try and and find are a couple of trees that I've marked with the machete. Uh, I've marked some of the trees with the machete on the sides just to give us an idea of where, where things are. Uh, even this 
uh, trail back here is a little bit a uh, little bit tricky to find fortunately I had some uh, newspaper wrapper in the car and this is a uh, the first one it's an orange one and it's tied and that serves as a marker and there's one just down you can see the tree that's marked right there and tree that's marked right there well there's the second one and the distance that's marked with the orange banner so we'll head for that next okay so heading for the orange banner okay here's the orange banner again tied you know around the tree machete marks on both sides so you can tell where you're coming and going and then from here I did a little bit of machete work you know back along the trail there are a couple of trees that are still marked there's another one there's another one so from here we go straight back to the next orange marker which is right back there see it right there okay good so now we go back okay and here is the orange marker right here another orange marker and again marked on both sides mm, boy that's good sap okay so from here the next one that uh, that we're going to come to is a green newspaper wrapper. So we've come to three orange newspapers, and now we're come to come to a green one. And the green one is right down there. As you can see, there's a bottle that's tied to it. It's a Dasani water bottle. And that kind of marks our turning point. So again, we just keep on going straight back this way. Okay. And uh, this is the uh, this is the area. I mean, from right here at this spot. Okay, you've got the green green newspaper wrapping, the Dasani water bottle, and inside is a note. And on that note is written, uh, "From this spot, you're 35 yards away from the Ralph Cemetery." And there's a board. There's the board that you gave me, Scott, to use in case I got out. I wanted to use that as another marker. Uh, just in case uh, anything happened to this water bottle or to this wrapper, at least we'll know. So there's there's a board, and from this spot, the cemetery is right back there. It's real easy to find from right from this spot right here. There's the water bottle. Water bottle is kind of pointing in that direction, so we will we will go that way. And along the way, uh, I've marked the trees to the right again, you know, just to indicate. Uh, where uh, you know where the trail uh, goes but it's pretty pretty easy actually I mean this is straight on back from here there's another little mark on the left of the tree that's marked on the left and the tree that's marked on the left and boom before you know it about right here is 35 yards there's the post for the Rouse family cemetery and here we are right back here day after the rains a little bit I cleared it out a little bit I tried to try to clear out as much as I could but it was pretty hard pretty tough going I think we're we're gonna need some really uh, really tough stuff back here again there's uh, Ivy Jenkins and yes uh, Chris you were right that's a lamb and get as close as I can to this design just so that you'll see what it looks like lamb I'll take a picture of that okay and uh, again Ivy Jenkins February 19th 1870 September 13 1912 God's finger uh, touched him and he slept just shows some roses there on the back and headstone okay step back a little bit come over and Susan Jenkins is exactly the same exactly the same motif with the lamb and everything Susan Jenkins April 3rd 1845 November 21st 1907 uh, sleep mother dear and take thy rest God called thee home uh, he thought best so we got Ivy Jenkins over here and Susan Jenkins over here now they're related probably adopted um, 
And again, we've got the, over here is the uh, foot marker for, uh, looks like LJ, it's probably Ivy Jenkins, uh, or something. Yeah, L I L J is the foot marker. That's what it reads. Okay, again, we come back over here. And what's interesting here is that we have a depression right here. This is obviously a grave, but uh, it was marked with wood. See, there's the uh, there's the foot area right there. That's for the foot. And the headstone, the remnants of it are right up there near the base of that tree. But there is definitely a depression in the earth in any case that there's a that there's a grave. This is the back side of uh, Okana's grave. Actually, Okana and, uh, and Ed Riles's. But, you know, what's really interesting is uh, you see this hand clasp here again. You know, that's a... Uh, that looks like a, an Irish motif. Um, that, that's something that I've seen in Ireland on uh, many graves as well. So I'm thinking that there may be uh, an Irish connection uh, somewhere along the lines with this. So I'm going to take a picture of this too. Okay. And again, this is uh, in memory of Okana E. Riles, devoted wife of E.C. Riles. August 16th, 1854, November 16th, 1887. Asleep in Jesus, blessed sleep. And, uh, excuse me, great-grandmama. Didn't mean to stand on you. But, you know, what's interesting is right on the opposite side is the footstone down at the very end. So I'm thinking that this says, uh, both of them are, are here in the same area because there at the base of the tree is the, is the footstone that says, uh, that reads, uh, O-E-R. And that would be Okana and Edward Riles. So, um, you know, that's what I'm speculating. That's what I'm theorizing on that. Um, really, that's about it for here. I'm trying to look for anything else. There's another post, looks like, in the back that I didn't see earlier. See, it's right over there. Right there in the back. And uh, that looks like that's the end of another end of the plot right back there now the question remains gentlemen and ladies and whomever is watching this video is how many graves are back here and who is buried back here uh, we know who some of the some of our players are but obviously we don't know you know to what extent the Jenkins connection ties in and that of course is going to require some historical digging around the archives and whatnot but we come back here, and this denotes the very end of the property for the cemetery. There's a post there, there's a post there, and of course there's a post here. And that, uh, again, just notes the very end of the property. We come along to the back side. Again, pretty much scrub. We have a fallen tree right here. Uh, Nothing really unusual out of the ordinary, you know, other than other than the Riles Cemetery. So now we're going to walk our way back, and that's going to be a lot of fun.